Hello and welcome to day number 103 of our Travel Trader series where we are talking about different trading related things and uh, market developments every day and today I want to talk about to you about the so-called Shaikin Volatility Index and uh, before we go deeper into it we want to have a look at uh, the belief behind that index so we understand uh, what's basically going on and why this would or could be working for us. First of all, there's a saying in the market uh, for quite a long time and that goes similar to price follows value, uh, uh, volume. So basically price, just to write it down here, follows volume so what does that mean in essentially if we think about a situation where the volume of something let's say would go down and uh, the price at that moment would be kind of uh, flat or going sideways that would mean that uh, after a while or at a certain point the price which is going sideways will follow the volume so that would result into the price going down and the same thing of course the other way around so let's assume that the volume is going up and uh, that the price is going sideways that would basically mean that as a result sooner or later the price would go in the same direction than the volume which means that the price would go up so that's a basic assumption that uh, we have around the 1960s and uh, that's one of the um, determining thoughts of the Chaikin volatility index as well so just to explain it a little bit here, we can see CVI is uh, short for uh, Shaikin Volatility Index. And uh, basically we are looking at an EMI, but we are looking at the difference between the high and the low. And uh, we're looking at an EMI over the last 10 days. That's the average that uh, we uh, look at when we are uh, looking at the Chaikin Volatility Index and the uh, second 10 here is what was the uh, difference in uh, volume over the last 10 days as well. So basically what we get here is a graph like this where we see uh, the values either going up in the positive uh, area or going down in the negative area. So in general, we can see two things. First of all, uh, if you look at it, it says that we see that the price is going down and we can see uh, that we are spiking up here. It means that if you see an increase over a short period of time in the Chaikin Volatility Index, that basically tells us that uh, the end of the movement, usually it's a drop, so the end or let's say the bottom is near uh, let's write it down so basically we see a sharp spike here and then we're kind of going down and uh, as we can see here we're kind of facing out we're still dropping but it's not that we will go Firmer again and the set. so that would be number one if we see a sharp increase in the short term in the Chaikin volatility index when we see a drop in the price that means that eventually the end is near or that the bottom is near and then from there we will have a turning point so I choose the latest drop in the S&P 500 here uh, so that we can see how these things apply. And the second thing that we could see is that uh, 
if we have a decrease over a longer time so we are decreasing here for a longer time that basically tells us that uh, the top is near so now as we can see that uh, the check-in tells us okay we obviously have a decrease here over a longer period of time we also had like this one here of course is extreme but here we also had a decrease over a period of time so before we drop down here here we had something similar so we went down here here we had something that wasn't that big so here actually nothing really happened so that wasn't a bigger decrease here but in general pretty much every time uh, when we see something like a big decrease uh, it seems like we are reaching the top so that's basically what check-in volatility index is telling us and uh, we will see if it's right basically if over the next few days or weeks we see another drop again here in uh, the s p 500 indicator right now we are looking at an upwards movement so here we have a new higher high so from a trend perspective we are currently in an upwards trend although if we would have a look at the overlying trend we are just correcting that big uh, downwards trend so a question for many of uh, my students as well as uh, for other people interested in investing in the stock market basically is uh, did we have a drop here a correction and are going to drop again or did we have a drop and we are now reversing this movement in a new upwards trend that could correct again but then would go up higher and higher so basically we will see over the next few weeks uh, i already told enough about what I think that's going to happen so let's see if Chakin is right and uh, the end of that upwards movement is near or if it has to correct and we are continuing to go upwards so that's it for today I hope you find this helpful uh, it's just one of the um, things how we can apply volatility and uh, we want to see a little bit more volatility and uh, um, these movements so there will be some other indicators that uh, work very well as well and uh, i will be back again not in the european markets as europe is closed due to easter monday but the us markets will be open so there will be some trading updates and uh, looking forward to talk to all of you again tomorrow so thank you very much for watching i hope you are having a great evening thank you and goodbye